Welcome everybody to another edition of 5-Minute Adventures. Today we are in Tappan Valley, British Columbia, in between Salmon Arm and Kamloops, British Columbia. We are at the home of the Rust Brothers, home uh, as well of the Rust Valley Restorers TV show. This is the entrance into their shop. We're going to go down to the museum, take a look in the museum at some of the, the cars that they have. But here are all of the vehicles that you normally see in the show, including their tow truck. We've got here a fire truck that you can see. We've got Mike Hall right there. Mike from the show, of course, the shop that they are uh, in the show they need to stop working on because of the building permits. We've got the cliff up behind them that they had to take a bunch of trees down from in order to uh, to make it safe. That was in one of the first seasons. Got some custom vehicles over here that are for sale. So let's go down to the museum and see what we can see. So we're starting here with the outside portion of the museum. Got some cars here that are in need of a little tender loving care. Just a few of the collection that uh, that they still have here. If you watch the show, you'll know that they've sold off a whole ton of their cars as of late, trying to recover some of their costs. Let's make our way into the first part of the inside of the museum and see what we can see for uh, restored cars. So starting off with a whole bunch of classic oil cans and various other fluids. We have some old diagnostic equipment. probably still work today for uh, for diagnosing what might be wrong with some of these older cars little Marilyn Monroe in the background there A lot of these cars are for sale, so if anybody is anybody watching is in the market for a new car. Of course, with gas prices nowadays, these aren't exactly the most fuel efficient vehicles. Some more oil cans on the side there. And of course, if we can't see the men themselves, at least we get their pictures here. Not quite the same thing, but it's the best I can do right now. A 
I love these old pickup trucks. So now we're going to go to the other outside portion of the museum where there are apparently some movie or some TV props. And uh, I don't know. Let's see what else is out here. So this is in the upper portion of the parking lot. This is the truck section, I guess. Well, there's some cars up here too. If you watch back in some of the some of the epi episodes that they've had. You might recognize some of these vehicles from the, out in the field that they've moved into this location. Firebird looks like you can just jump in and drive it. Wonder if there's anything wrong with it. I'm trying to figure out what this is. If anybody knows what type of vehicle this is, please leave it in the comments below. It almost looks like an original Ford GT, but I don't think it has the right doors. Then I thought maybe it was some sort of a Camaro modified for racing. Or sorry, a Corvette. There is Corvette pieces in the back of it. But not much else. So here we are in the gift shop. We're going to take a look around and see what they've got. So we've got some old car badges here with some die-cast models. General Lee, a couple of uh, cars from the Dukes of Hazard show. We've got some more models here against the wall. All kinds of different cars, some RC cars as well. Everything in its original packaging. Perfect for those out there that are looking for collector's items. As we look around over here, we've got some badges from and some coins. Badges from various gas stations around. As well as some emblems here. GMC, Chevrolet, Corvette, Ford, etc. So if you're in the neighborhood of looking for one for a vehicle that you're restoring... Give them a call or stop in and visit. Got some take-home models as well. Cars, boats, planes, motorcycles. All kinds of things for father and son, father-daughter, mother-son, mother-daughter to put together and enjoy. We have some signs here on the wall for various car companies as well as other indulgences, shall we say. Coca-Cola, little fireball, some beer. Looks like an old Taco Time neon sign there in the corner. Lots of Coca-Cola memorabilia. This is a cool-looking little car. Like I said, lots of Coca-Cola memorabilia. As we come over here, we've got some cassette tapes, some 8-tracks. For those that still have an original 8-track machine in their restored classic. Vinyl, of course. Can't have a good, a good uh, shop without some vinyl. And, of course, the jukebox to play it all on. 
nothing playing on this today, but you can probably just plug it in and load it up with your music and away you go. Got some toys here, some M&M memorabilia, some scary dolls on the left hand side there. Some sports memorabilia, Vancouver Canucks, Vancouver Canadians baseball. An old Pepsi cooler on the ground there. We have here some, what I believe to be local artist carvings. Some old cans for those of you that collect old cans. Some more Coke memorabilia. Then we have a wall of glass bottles, glass jars, purple glass, blue glass, sorry, purple glass, blue glass, clear glass. A little bit of everything for anybody who wants to collect anything. So once again, coming to you from Tappan Valley, British Columbia, at the Rust Valley Restorers uh, facility. Just look up Rust Brothers on uh, Google Maps. You'll be able to see exactly where this is. So beside this classic mini and me saying thank you for joining us on this five minute adventure. And we'll see you in the next one.